Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Selesnya Arcbow, we're going to be playing it in Mythic again. Uh, this is the deck that got us to Mythic. It is pretty nice. Uh, it's one of my favorite decks to play. And it's just right up my alley. I, I like playing green-white creature decks. And of course, this is definitely a green-white creature deck. This is Hawkeye, my kitty cat. He's decided to be around right now. Get your cat butt off the screen. Um, yeah, so basically, we're just, we're a Vivian's Arcbow deck that all we want to do is have this card in play and then instant speed start putting in all of these hammers, these really big uh, rares and mythics. Um, when our you know opponent's not expecting it, you know, have like a, a Shalai to be able to flash in and give our things hexproof or Null Hide Ferox just ends games really quickly and is difficult to deal with. Oketra is difficult to deal with also and lets us go wide with a bunch of big creatures. Dawnbringer, of course, is just amazing against aggro and and good, real good against mid-range too of like when we're in a mid-range battle and we're getting a board stall, Dawnbringer just goes over the top. Tulsmar gives us a little bit of removal. The only change... So if you, if you watched this video the last time uh, that we played it, the only change that I made is I took out the third Kral Harpooner for a copy of Tristani in the sideboard as well, where Tristani is good against mono white and mono red, and then it's also good against Hostage Taker, which is kind of a problem. And it's also good against uh, some Entrancing Melody uh, mass manipulation decks, which sometimes you run into those. Uh, Thief of Sanity can take your creatures, Tristani gets them back kind of thing. So I got Tristani in for like those kind of matchups also. But there we go. Let's go ahead and, and give it a try with Selesnya Arkbo. Let's see how it does. Um, Isaiah Thomas, or, yeah, Thomas uh, asking that you have an MCQ this weekend, what deck would I play? So I would, I mean, personally, I would play this deck, but... That's just because I'm really comfortable with this kind of deck and, and know exactly what I want to be doing in, in the different matchups. But this may not be, like, the deck for you, maybe. You know, it's... Uh, there's a lot of good decks. Like, the Esper decks are good. Um, that Grixis Diviner felt kind of sweet. That last round we played that. Uh, I like the four-color command deck that we're going to be playing after this. That's another good option. If you just kind of sit around and watch that one. Yeah, I'll have to just kind of pick pick something for you. Um, a lot of good things to play these days. Yeah, I think Grixis Control is viable. Looks like Phoenix. We haven't really drawn a white source, and so that makes it going to be even more difficult to like draw a second white source for the Dawnbringer. Tear it down! Tear it all down! Yeah, it definitely looks, looks like Phoenix. Yep, Yud's right here. It's it's not only about like the deck being good, it's but it's about your play style, what you're comfortable with, what you what you can sideboard well with because you know because you're comfortable with it and know exactly what you want to do and that kind of stuff you have a plan all of that is is important it's not just <laughs> wait you, you have the the best deck kind? like that's you got to be able to pilot it well i don't jeff no i just play online Yeah. I kind of prefer a white land, but... So I know it's I can play at instant speed, of course. I just played my last creature at instant speed, but I'm playing this right now so I can take up Vivian and give it reach. The Arclight Phoenix deck is really strong. 
Oh, come on. Why are you using these bad mountains with a sweet island? Can we get some good isle good mountains, too? Yeah, Phoenix decks are strong. It is, a, like, the red finale is really good, but it is annoying how Teferi, the new Teferi, shuts down the red finale. It's unfortunate. All things begin and end in nature. The floor on the arc like deck deck is really low though. If you if you don't draw very well, kind of thing like may not do may not do much for you. I want to play this forest. Rockburn with the tier one sub. Welcome back, Rockburn. Thank you so much for that sub right there. Says, hey Todd, hope you're well. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. I am, I am doing very well. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for the continued support there. Graveyard. Hmm. I wouldn't mind like an arc bow or something. For the fallen. Okay. I get rid of two white sources, which that's it's really unfortunate. Getting rid of two white sources like that. Oh right. The whole flash thing. I'm gonna keep this force in hand now. Keep this one in hand now, because if if we draw Arc Bow, we can like play Arc Bow and then also pitch the forest and activate for four. Oh yeah, Nars yeah, Narset's really annoying. You have to like have like shocks and stuff for Narsets. And lightning strike. No, you're right, that's yeah, that's an annoying card for sure. can still walk away. Maybe I have a dive down? Probably not. We don't get to play Lyra, but we're getting Crackling Drake out of there. So they can Bacon Bolt Shalai. 
this counts and exile, right? So, oh, but it doesn't count itself, right? So it would be just three right now. Okay, while well, our opponent's doing this, let me get this thumbnail for Grixis Divine while they are... They're just kind of chilling over there. There we go. Okay, using Finale to recast Shock and Bacon Bolt. So that's not a bad trade for me, because usually Bacon Bolt by itself kills something, so we got a Finale out of their hand also. Yeah, Soul Diviner Art is. Ugh. This is every basic forest? <laughs> sure seems like it. Hey, what's up, Cap? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> I've seen puppies I want this card. Than you. This one right here. As long as they play too long, nothing but losing notice. It's this is right song. Yeah, you get a Kefnet. Mysteries of life are endless. <clears throat> Lear with Vigilance is pretty sweet. We I played a big Soul Tide deck. I'm at nine mana right now. I did play a big Soul Tide deck one one time KZO. Um, that's up on the YouTube channel from like. In during this past week, not not that long ago, uh, I didn't do uh, super well with it, but it was fun to play. Eight, nine, this will be ten. So yeah, we're about to just start activating Shalai every turn. Let's get extra Lyra, more Harpooners. I think that's about all I want. Um, doesn't seem like I really want Tulsimer. Tulsimer does kill the Electromancer, but it's pretty expensive for that. What if we just do this? The biggest thing I've struggled with with this matchup is... Oh, this is 61. But anyway, a big thing that I've struggled with before with this matchup is if they have, like, Sahili after sideboard and then they just go, like, wide. Or, like, Murmuring Mystic. Another one. <laughs> it is weird to see a flying creature ever each. You're just going to take out a branchy. Yeah, we'll just do that. Putting in these harpooners. I think I want ugh, Paradise Druid still. Here. Because Baffling only costs two mana. Prison Realm costs three. It's a big difference whenever you're playing against mono red, mono white. Like, that's 
really what the card's for is for mono red and mono white um, in particular. Like, that's what Baffling Ends for. It's especially Steamkin. Like, that's what that's what it's for is for those aggro matchups. And so it's a having three mana for that's a big deal. I play Branch Walker. I definitely turn on Shock or Lightning Strike. Like, that's definitely what our opponent just kept was just red removal spells if they just go mountain, mountain. Dang. Well, I was hoping they didn't have that. I was going to play the Jade Light Ranger to look for more lands. But I wanted to get Arcbow in play because then after, after like, the Jade Light Ranger, we could maybe just start Arcbow in. But, yep, no surprise. Lightning Strike there. Land. Land. <laughs> I know, right? Scavenging ooze would be so nice and standard right now. Unfortunately, Death Gorge Scavenger is just not quite good enough. No land? Jeez. We're not going to have any good cards left. We have to get rid of them all. This is unfortunate. We're playing 25. You know, we kept a 3 lander. Looked at 8 cards so far. None of them have been lands. Maybe that's their only Lava Coil, then Shalai can block a Phoenix. Uh. It's nine cards, no lands. Ten cards, no lands. If we would have hit the, if we would have found a land off the branch walker, I would have, uh, I would have been activating the arc bow for two here. But obviously we didn't. Hey, a shock land. Or three shock lands in the eleventh card. Hey, elder two. Try again. Yeah, I did, Zed. Hey, Wee Doc. Yeah, I qualified for that mythic thingy. I think it's like on the 25th or so. I'll I'll stream that here on Twitch. Even if you know, even if uh, it means that other people can be sniping it, and it'll be worse for me. Oh well, hopefully it's good, or good entertainment for y'all. Hmm. What do I want my line to be? Get on the battlefield. Get the earliest Null Hide Ferox we can. Because that card's a uh, real problem to deal with. So that's what I just wanted. I wanted to make sure we were definitely playing Null Hide Ferox on turn three there, like when I was looking at the turn two. Hey, Peyton, going all good. Attack. Mm. 
Boom. Probably just ditch this Vivian to the arc bow. But now we're gonna just start looking for like Lyras and Oketras and more Null Hides and stuff like that every single turn with this arc bow. Should be able to put in something pretty big. Because we're spinning the wheel for six. Get out of here, Phoenix. Yeah, it is a beast. <laughs> Null High Ferox. Certainly a beast. All right. 1 0 for Selesnia Arcbow. Hey, we're almost in top 200. <laughs> Thorn Elemental has a. Has a sound. <sighs> yeah, we're going to be playing the Naya Feather deck. Um, if you want to see the list, you can find the list on the Stream Decker page. I uploaded the list already. It's a Hero Precinct 1 deck. So I go Elf. Uh, actually, I, I built that deck. I was just The donation was just to, to build a, a Feather deck. And I so I put that together. Like, something a little different of, like, see how that works with Feather. It is a donation deck, but uh, that particular one I actually did build. Um... Let's get these things out of there. Uh, I cannot, even with a land drop, I cannot go Vivian and Null Hide next turn. So it looks like we're looking like one or the other. Hmm. Uh, this looks like the deck that we're going to be playing after this, the four-color command deck. That's what we're playing against now, the the deck we'll be playing after this league. Hey, Lorth. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, Ferroxes usually do move in herds. <laughs> They're beasts. I am not going to sit this way. Don't worry, I got this. Alright, so... Definitely want to get the pressure on them. Only time will tell. Hmm. Hey, Zerf, going really well. Hmm. 
Cameo. Like the phases of the moon. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I shouldn't have kept the arc bow. I shouldn't have kept that arc bow. the plan why is that branch walker not blocking so the plan's masker girl All right, hopefully you draw land and we can play this other Ferox. So I can just minus. I guess I, I guess I need to send this Ferox over at Tamio. Budacris. What's up, Budacris? When I made that attack, I was thinking I was just gonna be playing the other Ferox. But this is going to trigger too much. Thank you very much, Peter Chris. And Bert, welcome back for 22 months as well. Hmm. Where's land? Tenth sub of the day, we'll be cracking a pack open after this. Getting to that sub goal and getting a little closer to our next um, sub battle stream. Yeah, I already played Grixis. Uh, as you tell, I'm going right down the line. Uh, we went 4 1 with Grixis. It worked out pretty well. Let me aid your research. All right, so I need to send one of those six sixes. So I, I messed that game up. I need to send the Ferox at them, or at Tamio. Should have made that. I messed that attack up to Massacre Girl. Dang, that's a game I have to win because this is a this is this is a pretty tough matchup for us. That's like that's definitely a game I need to win there. Because they just go over the top. Hmm. I don't want Tulsimer. I guess I need Baffling Ends for Wild Growth Walkers. Yeah, that, that game's going to cost me this. I don't know if I really need Champion of the Wilds too much. And I'll 
I'll get rid of a couple branch walkers. My explore creatures aren't the best for them to be able to get access to with the Command the Dread Horde, so it's not the best for me to be playing explore, explore creatures, but of course I can't just like cut all of them. That's not very realistic. Um, and playing the Tristani to maybe be able to get my own creatures back kind of thing. Yeah, maybe the third Lyra, because I do need flyers, but then again, if if my opponent uses Command the Dread Horde to get back Lyra, I'm in huge trouble. And their plan goes really well with my discard creatures plan. So I was planning on just going Arcbow into Jade Light. Um, and di ditching the branch walker to the arc bow. Now I may not even play the jade light. I think I may just arc bow for four and just see if we hit like Ferox or Shalai or something. Are worth cataloging to the library. Um, yeah, they had a real good hand. Great mana, wild growth into Jade Light and Tamio, and the Jade Light draw two lands. Yeah. That's not how we're going to be winning this one. Hey, what's up, Holy Avatar? So I got rid of the Branch Walker over the Arcbow, because I'm thinking, like, if they have, like, Golgari Queen kill my Arcbow, I want a backup. For example. Yeah, our opponent's playing a four-color Command the Dread Horde deck, like the deck we're going to be playing up next after this. That's what our opponent's playing. Yeah, Tamiyo is just insane. It's just so good. Four man, it's so much loyalty, like the six mana or the six loyalty that it ticks up to immediately. Just so strong. I think you will find my notes helpful. The Oketra is pretty awkward with like having to cast creatures when I just want to be arc bowing. But this is certainly a matchup I didn't don't want to face with my deck. I am not going to sit this one out. You need to slow down. And Command the Dread Horde's basically going to kill us if they have it, which I assume they do because Tamiyo should be ticking up for Command the Dread Horde if you don't have it kind of thing. Like, they got to have command. Like, this is this has got to be game. Yeah, we're dead. So 
So two, five, seven, minus nine. One of these is 13. And they just bring all those back. Yeah, might as well see if you Eat see any, see if you get something better. I can't just not attack, though, and let them put the Jade Light in the graveyard. I can't just, like, sit back, you know? But that, that first game, I, I messed up. Um... I don't know if we, even if I don't mess up that first game, I don't know if we win either of these. <laughs> Tamiya sounds like a spicy mayonnaise. Um... You just get that's just unlucky, Big Johnson. I'm sorry to sorry to hear about your mana troubles there. Uh, it's that's rough. Hmm. Alright, go on Master Roll Rail. Instead to wipe the board. up sun thanks for the uh, sub there yeah he went with massacre girl to get rid of my entire like to to wipe out my battlefield so that like at the end there he's just left with massacre girl uh, i'm left with nothing and he's got both planeswalkers in play and he's got just a full hand um i'm real dead there <laughs> Can I get some extra Tamiya on my sandwich? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get with our pack. Let's crack a pack. For getting to 10 subs here. Yeah, that, that's not a matchup that I want to face. Hey, it sounds submersible. With Selesnya Arcbow. And the more popular that that deck gets, the worse for my deck here. Get 10 subs, get a sub. The silent subby. We need some more Tamiyo on that on that sub. That sub should have Island Walk. Alright, a little unfortunate with no turn one green source, but we're not mulliganing this hand. This is more in our wheelhouse. This is what we want to be facing. Um, whether we want to be facing exactly what our opponent has going on right here, maybe not, but this is the kind of matchup we want to be facing. So I'm playing Paradise Druid over Branch Walker because Branch Walker would get Lightning Striked and or like Wizard's Lightning or whatever, and I want to just be able to trade with one of these things. So I... You know, I take one more damage if we get one of those two twos off the battlefield. Gotta try to kill these two twos. Ugh. Could have definitely used another green source between my draw step and the branch walker there. Alright, well, now we're gonna have to find Shalai. Mm -hmm. 
Our opponent has a lot more burn spells we're not winning anyway. So we're gonna, like this, this Chandra is going to be ultimating here real soon. I need to make sure that I can deal with it before it does. Jeez. Gross. Our deck does pretty good against Esper Control. Uh, the Both of these cards are awesome against uh, <coughs> Esper Control, especially the Arc Bow. And Ferox is really strong there, too. Okay. So we got a lot of sideboard stuff to bring in. And I cut Paradise Druid because of its weakness to Chain Whirler. And I could just get rid of the Oketras because we have two other five drops that we bring in. And Vivian leaves completely. And then one Arc Bow. And that makes it 60. All right. Yeah, I can keep this. <clears throat> we can keep hitting land drops. We got the baffling end for the, the steamkin. And we can start putting in a bunch of sweet creatures into play with the arc bow. All of the tier one decks. Gosh, I don't know. There's uh, mono red, mono white, Esper control, Esper mid range, Bant mid range. Um, I'm going to baffling end this thing, I guess. I don't really want to activate Arcbow on three, but I I do want to like start you know basically use the rest of my mana for the rest of the, the turn. So yeah, that thing's a little annoying. Um, oh, the the four color command honestly could be. Could be there. There we go. Got the beastie boy. So they have to have a one mana three damage spell here. Because I have to pay two to get rid of the Ferox thing. And then. Yeah. Yeah, this this is what I got this is what I climbed from this is what I got all the way out of platinum was with this deck and into mythic. <laughs> Our opponent was not ready for that beastie boy there. What killed Mono Blue? Uh, Teferi. Three man Teferi. I think that's actually a mulligan. Yeah. Against on the draw against Mono Red, not doing anything until turn three. Can't keep that. <clears throat> Blast Zone did not kill Mono Mono or Mono Blue. Nobody plays Blast Zone. Basically, Mono Blue didn't really gain anything, but Standard overall is just a lot better than it was last format. Like, there's just. Like, the, the decks in Standard have gotten a lot better. Mono Blue didn't get any better. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have good matchups anymore. Like, the decks. The decks that Mono Blue used to play. to prey on. got little. Like, those decks got little Teferi, which made their matchup against Mono Blue a lot better. What's that? Would be the more, the messier. Hmm. 
That's that's not good. I just put two explore creatures in the graveyard. That means we're just gonna have a bunch of lands now on top. My friend is here to help you. Uh, that's the card I want a baffling end. Dang. This is not looking good for us. Null hide? Alright, alright. Alright, um. Yeah. Go ahead and play this. No! Stop! This is really not looking good. So I can mobilize district kill to Balt. That's not that's not gonna really help us win though. I need Tristani, Tulsimer, or Lyra. Even Null Hide would block well. I wouldn't mind an Arc Bow. Need something in my heavy hitter club. I could not block with Branchwalker there, but they they get one trigger with the one devil. And so then the one devil could still ping the Branchwalker and then Firebrand kill Branchwalker. I think just getting the getting the blocks in is nice. Run away with me tomorrow. They're bricking. Arcbow! Hmm. So options are play the land, have the mobilized district up, or be able to arc activate Arcbow for four. Let's find this Nullhide Ferox. No light's gonna be right here. Where is it at? There he is. Rawr. We haven't seen a null hide yet. There had to be one in the next four. It's all right. Good trade. Get rid of the lightning strike and the steamkin. You know, like that's a lot of power. Hmm. I don't gain three life. I'll just do this next turn. We'll just take one here. Go down to six. We should be good. Jeez. Frenzy. Whoa. Dang, so much for this should be good part of this the show. Definitely killing the firebrand that can go upstairs. So we we have four Knight of Autumns in our deck. So I could have spun for a Knight of Autumn, but they they just had another frenzy. So we need to next fire, turn huh? spin for for Knight of Autumn. Yeah, should be good. Famous last words, no kidding. Wow. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Oh wow. Alright, so I need a Knight of Autumn to blow up the frenzy. And I need a Shalai. Well, there's a Shalai. I kind of need instant speed July though. If I just play the July now, they just kill it. No. 
more promise, no more sorrow. Dang. Really need to kill the, the Frenzy. That, that's like the most important thing is I had to kill a Frenzy. Ugh. We haven't seen a Night of Autumn yet. Was already a lot of lands. Our next arc bow hits are going to be great. <laughs> wow, we got really lucky with that frenzy there. Are you kidding me? There's still not a... Ugh. QQ image. Thanks, QQ. Still no Night of Autumn? I brought in all the Night of Autumns, right? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did bring them all in, huh? We're 0 and 1 right now. We're not 1 and 0. Yeah, we're 0 and 1. Sorry, about to be 0 and 2. About to be 0 and 2. Can we have the mill? No, I still have 21 cards. I don't know how we couldn't find a single Knight of Autumn in both of those. Yay! Alright, so Chandra dead. But I don't know how we're going to so like the shall I shall I just kill Chandra basically? Because now once once Chandra takes three, they can only deal damage to a, an opponent or a planeswalker. They can't deal it to the opponent because of Shalai, so they have to do it to a planeswalker, so they have to do the damage to itself, which then triggers Chandra to do damage to itself. And yeah, they can't target themselves, so it's just opponent or planeswalker. So Shalai is pretty here. nice there. Um, do I even want to blow up Frenzy is like the question right now. I have like seven cards in hand. I don't think so. So I think we're going to just arc bow and try to gain... I guess we're just going to gain four with the Knight of Autumn. You want to go, tough guy? Yeah, we're just going to gain four life with Knight of Autumn.
Because we have to hit a Knight of Autumn now, right? Oh my gosh. I guess not yet. I mean, this card isn't good enough. dead our last July is like somewhere in there ish and so I can't get to it and that's the only card that would, that would save us now them having that coil was killer sit back and watch it burn I don't have anything to save me. They obviously just have a bunch of burn spells in hand. Because they have a million cards. Yeah. I'm dead. It's disappointing. There's two Knight of Autumns, two Lyras. Couldn't find those earlier. Couldn't see those earlier. Either one of those. This would have been nice earlier. Whoa. Man, we were jumping down after our two losses. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can rally. Can still get the 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two Dream's not dead. That's unfortunate. That's a match that I usually win. Mono Red. I thought we were winning that for sure until our opponent drew that Frenzy. And still, even after they drew the Frenzy, I thought we were going to be okay. We just couldn't find a Knight of Autumn to blow it up, and then they found Chandra, of course, and it's their next card after Frenzy. Ugh. Is this the third match we? Is this the fourth match we play with the deck? <clears throat> oh yeah, we beat Phoenix. So that's why it said one and zero. I just never updated it for the Command the Dreadhorde match. So we're one and two. Okay. Sorry, my B. Let's play Paradise Druid here. They can't Chain Whirler the next turn. And I guess I'm just going to take this uh, and then just go Ferox. <clears throat> turn three. I do prefer this over Gruul um, because there's just a lot of aggro in, in the metagame, like these red decks, and, and this deck has a really high win percentage against those decks. Like, Actually, I think that's the first time I've ever lost a red, I think. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've ever lost a red. Oh, right, duh. So that's why I prefer this deck. Um, Gruul is a lot better against other mid-range decks. But this is better, or I like, I like this deck against ugh, aggro, and I think it's still good against uh, mid-range. I guess I wouldn't say Gruul is a lot better against other mid-range. Sorry, that's that's not kind of misspoke there. That's not exactly true. They're about the same against other mid-range. Gruul is better against control. But they're both good against control. And they're about the same against other mid-range. Gruul's probably a little better. Like, Gruul's probably a little better against mid-range and control. But much, much worse against aggro. And there's a lot of aggro.
I guess I don't really have a ton of incentive to actually attack. Maybe I should have attacked last turn. There's a got like an ant, a bug here or something. There you go. Get rid of that. Not with the steamkin here, also. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? That's a lot of burn. Alright, we gotta win games two and three again. Gotta get in our baffling ends. And all these Night of Autumns. Alright, here we go. Please don't kill my land or elves. Please don't kill my land or elves. Play my creature. There we go. Oh, that's awesome, Matthew. I have a daycare, have you provide ice cream and snow cones once a week? That's really nice. Boo. They killed the Lanamore Elf. Now, please don't have a Chain Whirler. Please don't have a Chain Whirler. Ugh. Yay, no chain whirler. So do I want to go null hide? To save the life with a branch walker, the thing's gonna die anyway. Yeah, they'll bolt the bolt the elf. All right, I guess we're going night of autumn. Unless we can get lucky and draw some lands. So going making it a four three just has it die to another bolt and then they attack in. It's it's likely gonna die either way, whether you make it a four three or a two one. Obviously, there's easier ways to kill with the 2 1 with like shock and stuff, but like that, that extra 4 life is a nice buffer of like, see, it would have just died as a 4 3 either, either way to the same thing. That extra 4 life's kind of a nice buffer here. Jeez. 0 2 against red. First times I've lost a red. Yeah, I was going to play Ferox first because of Steamkin. Yuck. Okay, let's let's get paired against red again. <laughs> can't continue to lose to him too much, but I mean you can't always win all the matches against red. So maybe if I would have turn two played land war off instead of branch walker, because we ended up drawing that extra land, and then I could have actually had if they went steamkin on two, I could have had ferox on four. I guess I should have gone land war off on turn two. I was like looking for 
looking for another land because if you know not if we didn't draw a land we were going to be in a ton of trouble but we did have the land on top dang not red Esper. We'll see if we uh, hit Shalai or not. I wish I would have gave them that pile of cards. Now they probably got the good pile. Hey, what's up, Merlin Bones? Jeez. <laughs> Their three cards are literally Shalai, Ferox, Ferox. Literally Shalai, Ferox, Ferox. When we went for four and we just saw a bunch of lands. <laughs> uh, not not our last couple of games. That's our, that's okay though. But yeah, we've not our not our games here. Strife. Monsters of us all. Like, all we have to do is hit Lyra Dawnbringer and it's all good. Shoshiro saying that you've been losing more than you thought against red as well with this deck. Hmm. I had never lost it before the last two. But of course I did those last two. I demand servitude. So I can't, you know, I can't say that it's amazing, but yeah, no, no removal is, is kind of tough. You know, it definitely can be tough at times. Steam can go crazy, as we saw those last two games. Maybe one of these times. Yeah, the fact that they, they found my Shalai so that I couldn't Tulsimer the Thief of Sanity, that was, that was really rough.
All right, get these other Harpooners in here. Get the Tristani against all these thieves and hostage takers. Um, so this has got to be a Hero Precinct 1 deck. Just not sure how much I actually want Baffling End or not. Oketra and Arkbo can definitely be annoying. Like, Arkbo does keep getting your Oketra back, but if you're just discarding your cards, you're not really doing anything with the Oketra. That card's out of here. Like, Nullhide can be really bad against Hero Precinct 1. If they don't like if they don't have hero, I really want null height. If they have hero, I don't want null height at all. If I don't put Oketra back in my deck, then my opponent just can cast my Oketra. Like, they, they just have my Oketra. So I have to put it back in my deck. So I'm only looking at four instead of five. It's just what I have to do. I'll be there. So I'm going to take out Nullhide Ferox because of how bad it is against Hero Precinct 1. And put in two baffling ends. Go a lot more five drop heavy here, getting the extra Lyra in also that can fly. Yeah, this is a hero deck. This matchup I don't love. You just try to be around 50% in this kind of matchup. Really? Duress? We have like no spells in our deck. <laughs> it's okay, Trunks. Yeah, you can ask again. Tezzeret deck, not ready yet. Sorry, I've been working on other decks and stuff. No, Tezzeret deck's not ready yet. Alright, they have Reflector Mage. It's a good one. Even though our opponent was on five cards, they've had a really strong start here. I think I would have rather baffling ended a Thief of Sandy if they had Thief of Sandy on three than the hero. Or yeah, or they could have Deputy That's more like it. of Detention also. Another reflector mage. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. No, I am not making this up as I go. Just a time waster over here. That's all he does. I guess I need to get that baffling end out of my hand just because of these stupid duresses. What are, what are we doing over here? Here we go.
Teferi does waste time with the best of them. Should we go less baffling end? Twenty five creatures right now. All right, let's see how we do. Draw some lands, please. Land. Ugh. Game three, just trying to savage the two, the two three. It's not a matchup I really want to face too much. The next set's going to be 300 different versions of Teferi. Hmm. Shall I so bad against Reflector Mage? Please don't Reflector Mage or have any removal at all. Mortify. Ugh. No, I want that Vivian. Oh, I need that Vivian. I really mind giving my opponent a Jade Light Ranger, right? Uh, maybe I do. So they have one card that's better than Vivian. Lucky. Just died to Thieva Sandy two games. Those angels and everything at instant speed are so much better at, than at sorcery speed, but I'm just trying to get like the block and be able to untab. I know my responsibility. This might be a bad idea. Oh man. That card can be good. Tristani could help us out here. Yeah, we got we have a couple harpooners in here. There yeah, there's a couple harpooners in our deck right now. Go get a Lyra Dawnbringer and play it. Cast Lyra. They have three cards over here to cast? Yeah, cast one of these. Cast one of these. Any of them. Lyra. Shalai. Shalai and Lyra. No, you can't cast both. Cast one of them. Something big and scary that of my cards for sure. Hostage taker. It's not necessarily big and scary of one of my cards, but 
whatever. No, the token doesn't come back. I'll protect you. Definitely home for a Shalaya Lyra, for sure. All right, next turn, I'm going to be playing the Champion of the Wilds and ticking up on the Hexproof Paradise Druid, giving the Hexproof Paradise Druid reach. So we have to make sure we don't mill out right now. We haven't seen, like, basically any Shalai's or Lyra's, so there's been one Shalai so far. And we have three of each of those in the deck. <laughs> of course, I said something about, about what I was going to do with that card. Hmm... All right, Teferi down. This is hardly my worst defeat. Okay, so we'll just go instant speed here with Arcbow, get a get a blocker. I am very, very positive that we'll be hitting a blocker here since we've gone through a fifth of our remaining deck. I guess we had one one Lyra exiled. Okay, so one never mind. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, we'll still get blocker. We can do it. Alright, so we have a Shalai in the bottom four. wasn't meant to be contained. We could have had an instant speed deputy. In a blade of grass. Let's tear this place up. Have you ever lost a home? Perfect. Exact card I wanted. That's a win. Let's I don't know do why would they trade their land war elf there. I don't know why they blocked the land war elf, but that's one less mana that they have to work with now. That's good. Really glad they didn't target Vivian's arc bow with that.
Yeah, they could have been scared of another Tristani, I suppose. Right on schedule. I've done the hero thing before. Starting over is the only way. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I think I'm gonna go and play this, and then we can have four and four. We can like arc bow for four and have sh and build a cache July. <clears throat> Try to. Oh wait, I don't have null hides in here, do I? Cut null hides. So actually, arc bow for four isn't very good, is it? So maybe I didn't need to play that. But obviously, we have the other arc bow to discard right now. Yeah, they gave us back a. <clears throat> they gave us a dive down. Again. Hmm. That's insane bad. Ugh, that's really bad. They just have instant speed thieves and hostage takers and all that kind of stuff now. That's our last arc because We know one's at the bottom, and then we had these two, so I'm having another one. No, I don't have any knights. I don't have any knight of autumns in the deck. I don't have very much left in the deck, honestly. Please don't hit hostage taker or deputy. Please don't. Let me untap. Just let me untap. Just pass the turn. Just pass the turn. Oh what? I, am the I thought we were at end step. Oh, I do love a good death whale. I've learned much. That's my bad. Death. Hmm. I said it's minus. Let me show you what was lost. I'm down to 18 cards. I am exhausted. So that's my last Dawnbringer that's in play right now. I think I have one other Shalai left. I gotta do a reset after this. I think I have an Oketra left. I think. I think I still have Oketra left. <laughs> yep, there's Oketra. You fight like a city brat. Oh, my Lana Werewolf is dead. 
I was thinking play the. I, f- I forgot that I had one less mana than I thought I had. I was thinking play the land so I could Oketra plus Shalai, but I, I can't Oketra plus Shalai yet. All right, well, Thief's not... A, that's a good hit for us. Thief isn't very scary here. We don't want them hitting hostage takers and deputy detentions. I hope they attack. Wow, they attacked. Can I block? Thank you. <laughs> of course, the j Ranger has reach. It says that on the card because of the Vivian. So I, that's why I attacked last turn and didn't tap. Okay. We got there. Two, three. I haven't played that deck yet. Dart, I'm... I uploaded it today, but I haven't played it yet. Maybe play it tomorrow or something. I made the deck yesterday, but I just haven't played it yet. All right, so yeah, nice comeback. So 2-3, plus we went 0-2 against Mono Red, um, which that's, you know, that happens, I guess. You lose to red decks whenever they have solid hands. Frenzy can certainly beat you. Early Steamkin, if you're slow, that, that beats you. You know, like, the red deck's good, for sure. Um, that is a matchup that I want to play every round, but, you know, we want to win every round. Um, but, yeah. So, 2-3 isn't the worst at all with that, uh, especially 2-1 if you consider the other ones. We did also, besides the two mono reds, we lost to the four-color command deck that we're going to be playing after this, which that... That is not a good matchup at all for us because they just go so far over the top with Command the Dreadhorde, and I don't, I don't think we win that match would win that matchup very much at all. So if that if the four color Command deck does start to really pick up and and gets super popular, then that's that's a real bad sign for Selesnya Arkbo. But as long as there still is a good amount of aggro and uh, control, and then other mid range decks where Lyra Dawnbringer and Shalai can take over. They'll be doing good for us. Um, yeah. So still like the deck. This is still like my, this is the deck that I play the most uh, like off stream whenever I just uh, am playing some ranked matches. This is what I play. And I, I like where this deck is, honestly. Um, it can be a little rough without a ton of removal, certainly. But I like this deck quite a bit. All right. Um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. That's Lesnia Arkbo, and I will.